Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 30th of April to the 4th of May 2018. And as always, we're going to start off with the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of markets looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to highlight some of the targets that we're looking for in the coming week and also weeks ahead. Now, just very quickly before we start, I have some exciting news to share with you guys, and that is we are going to start producing this year free professional education courses on the channel. And these will be designed to help you understand the markets more and also give you an idea of what we're talking about when we talk about bullish formations and patterns and bearish formations and patterns in the weekly forecast each week. So the first course we're going to do for you guys is Elliott Wave, and you can find part one, which was released yesterday on the channel, where we're going to start by going through the foundation, the basics of Elliott Wave before we move into the more advanced stuff. And we're going to give you the complete course there, completely free. And this is all designed to help you guys out with your trading. Once that's finished, we're going to move on to another course and we will bring you lots of these courses throughout the year and also going into next year. So hopefully you really enjoy that. And of course, if you want to look to see how you can put all of that into real live action as well, you can always join us in the free live rooms over at portexmarkets.com. So with that, guys, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we had an explosive move in the US dollar index and we had this rally and something actually we've been discussing about in the room for quite a while now is that we are looking potentially for a big move this year to the upside in the dollar. And we may have just started to see the beginning of this move. So very simply put, going into next week, we are looking for this to continue. If we can get a pullback and you can see we've broken above, there's a key air resistance here at the 91.28. If we can get a pullback into this area, we'll be looking, this will be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those patterns in this area, we can start to look for the next key air resistance, the upside at 92.07. And if we get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside and target two at the 92.48. Next, we have crude oil. Now, crude oil actually has not changed since the last forecast because we literally did nothing last week in oil. We remain above the key area of support here at 67.73, and we are still looking for a potential move to the upside. Now, oil is a good one for those of you who watched the first part of the Elliott Wave video. Okay, you can go away and have a look on the lower time frames of what you can see perhaps in this area. But we are looking for a continuation to the upside in oil. So this is a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. As I just said, a good idea to go down and look at this in the lower time frames. And if we get those kind of bullish formations and patterns, which arguably we're getting now, this is still a great place to look for longs up towards the next key air resistance and the first target to the upside at 69.51. And if we can get a breakthrough here, you can see we actually have a quite a long way to go all the way up to the next key air resistance to the upside at the 73.32. So as long as we stay above the 67.73, we're looking for these targets to the upside. Next, we have euro dollar. Now, last week, we had a big move to the downside in euro dollar because of that explosive move in the dollar index. So very simply put, we're looking for a continuation going into this week. If we get a pullback into the 1.21583. This will be a great place to start to look for broken support turning resistance, okay, and a good place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those kind of patterns in this area, we'll be looking for shorts. First of all, down to the next key area of support to the downside at the 1.20251. And if we can get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 1.19533. Next, we have the British pound US dollar. Now, last week we smashed through the targets to the downside on the back of that US dollar strength. And we actually currently sit fairly close to the next gear of support to the downside. So what we would like to see going into next week is a pullback and a correction to take place. It may be a little bit ambitious to come all the way back to broken support turn and resistance, but a pullback anywhere in this area, roughly around the 1.3900 area, somewhere around here. This is a great place. Again, you can even channel this for those of you who know how to channel. You can start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts 
First fall down to the next key area of support and target one at 1.3717. And if we get a break through here, down towards the next key area of support and target two at the 1.3656. Now, of course, depending on how much this can go down next week, we may even be on target for the third target and the third key area of support to downside at the 1.3548. But it may take a couple of weeks to get down into this area. Next, we have the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week on this big push to the upside, we did take out the target set from last week, which was at the 108.282. And we are still in an uptrend here, clearly. Now, we are going to be looking for a correction and a pullback. Again, it may be unrealistic to look for a pullback all the way to broken resistance turning support in this area. So any pullback roughly in this area somewhere is going to provide a great place to start to look for a continuation to the upside in the US dollar yen next week. And if we get a pullback into this area, this would be a great place to start to look once again for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next target and next key area resistance to the upside at the 110.356. Next, we have Aussie dollar. Now, last week, we actually took out both targets to the downside. We're actually sitting right at the second target we had down here, and we started to bounce a little bit. So very simply put, going into this week, we're looking for a pullback, possibly in this case, a retest of broken support turning resistance. And any pullback, especially if we can get a retest of broken support turning resistance in this area, will be a fantastic place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target one at 0 0.75028. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards target two and the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.73779. Next, we have New Zealand dollar. Now, last week, the New Zealand dollar just took out all three of the green targets that we had set to the downside. And this move in the New Zealand dollar has been pretty Magnificent. I mean, this is a pretty big move. Uh, going into this week, we are looking for a little bit of a correction to take place first. Preferably, if we could get a pullback to broken support turning resistance around the 0 0.71534. This would be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns in the New Zealand dollar. And we're going to be looking at continuing in this downtrend. And we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the target and the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.69770. Next, we have US dollar Swiss franc. Now, last week, again, similar to the other dollar pairs, we took out the targets to the upside, both targets in the US dollar franc. And we're sitting now above this key area of resistance up here at the 0 0.98452. And this will be a great place if we can get a pullback and a correction into this broken resistance turning support. This would be a great place to start once again to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the first target and next key air resistance to the upside at 0 0.99725. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside and target two at the 1.00380. Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, last week we had a push to the upside in US dollar CAD and we took out the first target and we came very close to taking out the second target set from last week at 1.29145. And now we're starting to get a bit of a pullback. So if we can get a pullback to broken resistance turning support around the 1.27679, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get this pullback and this kind of price action, this can be a great place to start to look to initiate longs up towards the target two set from last week, which is now target one at the 1.29145. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside and target two here at the 1.31119. And finally, we have gold. Now, last week we actually broke down below the support level in gold because of the strengthening of the US dollar. And you see gold is actually paired with the US dollar. And as a result, going into this week, we are looking for the continuations to the downside. Uh, what would be nice here is if we could get a pullback, we're looking for a correction somewhere in this area, possibly even a pullback to retest broken support turning resistance. But if the US dollar is strong, we may only see a, a pullback into this area. But any kind of pullback into this area, especially if preferentially we can get a move into previous broken support turning resistance, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns.
and we're going to be looking at initiating shorts in gold down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target one at the 1307.25. Now, another thing we can do is we can actually look at the key levels of support and resistance in the dollar index to see whether we're going to get a more shallow pullback. If we get a pullback to the first key area of support in the dollar index and start to bounce, we may only see gold coming back to here. If we start to break down through that key area of support in the US dollar and we start looking for a deeper pullback, this is when we might start seeing the deeper pullbacks in gold, for example, back to uh, broken support turning resistance. So just something to bear in mind, you can use the US dollar to monitor the potential distance of these pullbacks. So that is it for me for this week, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to all of you who do that on a regular basis and those of you who have subscribed to the channel so far. Don't forget to check out our upcoming courses. They're completely free on the channel and I really hope that these are going to help you out with your trading. As I said before, part one of the first course was released yesterday. So for those of you interested in learning Elliott Wave, you're more than welcome to check that out. So with that, guys, the only thing left to say is I hope you all have a fantastic week next week. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.